Alright, so I'm wedged in the back of the boat here. That's looking to the front. What I'm doing is, this is the steering assembly here. And that looks good. Uh, some more pulleys and they look good. They move pretty well, but what I'm doing is I'm gonna take this whole metal piece off because the plywood is kind of uh, added in below the floor, so this is the floor, there's extra plywood, and that's looking pretty bad. And that just comes right off, so I'm gonna take off a few bolts here and see if it just falls off. Hopefully it's pretty easy. Okay, four bolts are off. Gonna try to prop the camera while I use two hands. This might be kinda hard. Or one hand. Yep. Got it. So I've got part of the steering mount cut out of the boat. It wasn't in there very well, so it was pretty easy. It was just had a post on this side and on that side. Just cut it and it came right out. It was only on there with some fiberglass wrapped around and kind of on there kind of loosely. Uh, but I'll sand this, clean it up, probably paint it. And then uh, with the uh, pulley, like with most of the hardware, I've been uh, giving it a a bath in some diesel, uh, let it sit there for a day or two and then bring it out and brush it clean and that, that's been working pretty well for me with the other hardware. So get you a good look at this before and see it afterwards. Hopefully it's looking a lot better and it's it moves but not very well. It's definitely old so and then get it uh, oiled back up and it should be good to go. So I'm gonna clean some hardware here. I uh, wanted to show you how I do it. I'm gonna take a standard uh, plastic five gallon bucket. And this happens to be my old bailing bucket for rafting. Uh, does the trick. Uh, I'm gonna take some diesel now, if you ever are unsure, if you, I, I've had multiple tanks of gasoline and diesel sitting here, and I, if you're ever not sure which is diesel and which is gas, there's an easy way to check. I'm gonna take a little less. Diesel will not ignite to a flame. There you have it. <laughs> I'm going to fill this up with diesel. Now, if you're doing that test and you are very unsure, I was pretty sure, so I took a quite more diesel than I had to, but if you were really unsure, uh, you want to take just a little bit, because gasoline will definitely uh, burst into flames rather violently, so take a very tiny, tiny bit if you're doing that test. And the stainless and the bolts are going in. Winch, or pulley rather.
And last, I'm just going to cover it up with some plastic bags to keep it from evaporating. And then let it sit for uh, 48 hours, maybe. I use a couple because there's little holes in them, but that'll work. Looking uh, better, I'd say. Just gotta scrub all that off. I've got the uh, steering uh, piece uh, painted here. Got the pulleys uh, all cleaned up. So I haven't bolted them on yet because um, it, it makes this piece really heavy. And uh, when I hold it back into the frame where it mounts, it'll make it easier to have those off at the time. Then once I bolt it in, then I'll uh, screw these on. Uh, but they're looking much better. They actually spin. Uh, they'll need some oil. Uh, so uh, next up, I'll sh put this back in the boot. One eternity later. All right, I'm working on the uh, the st uh, steering column. I've just got it set back on uh, with the 3M4000 uh, that one I also have the access hatch And just gonna go down below and uh, bolt everything on. That might be a little difficult by myself since there's a, a big heavy uh, uh, hardware 
blocks that go on. Not much room down here. I'm not sure how this will turn out. Uh, how the shot will turn out. So we'll just forge ahead and see what happens. This is the uh, wood piece that has the two pulleys on the ends. The steering cable comes down here from the wheel. It just goes up to the wheel and kind of loops over it on a little um, gear. So when you turn the wheel, it turns the, it pulls the cables. And in order to have left, turn you left, they crisscross and then they just uh, lock off on the ends of this piece here. Uh, I believe it's like quarter, looks like quarter inch uh, steel cable. And we've got two of uh, the locking clamps to, to hold it. This is the new wooden piece and I didn't actually glass this in because it's kind of held in by the hardware here. So I'm just going to leave it like that for now. So I've currently got the... Uh, the cables uh, real tight because uh, they, I figure they gotta they're gonna stretch a little bit, uh, kind of take up any of the slack, and especially in places like on the loops here. When I first put this on, it was really rigid and not really holding that nice shape, so it's almost there. So once everything looks like it's settled in, I'll loosen uh, loosen it here a little bit, and then we'll be uh, to the to a good point.
talk just a little bit about about how I can do this working uh, so many extra hours every day and uh, not getting tired of it and and when people ask me why I do it I never really had a great answer so I wanted to kind of talk about that and recently I think I've stumbled on a, a, an answer sort of and I want to share it to help encourage uh, you guys watching to do your own uh, projects and I think the biggest factor that keeps me doing this is that you're working you're putting work directly into something that you will reap rewards from and compare that to most uh, day jobs where all the work you do is in a sense going to someone else and you're just getting compensated for it for the most part I'm sure there's plenty of exceptions to that but I've really been drawn to this and been so overwhelmed as a as more than just a hobby but as just putting everything into that all my spare time and it's because because every thing I work on is going to be something that I will get to enjoy for a long time to come hopefully um, so when it comes to motivation uh, I'll admit that I do get overwhelmed and tired of uh, working every day on the boat um, but sh what's sure enough to get me back out here is just seeing just looking at a, a sailboat out on the water immediately gets me going and gets me back out here because that's where I want to be and that's uh, I'm gonna make it happen. So that's that. Uh, don't forget to subscribe and like the video and I'll see you next time.